Hey everyone, the name is Chris Borachu. Welcome to the second video on my album writing and recording process. Uh, in case you're not up to date, uh, I'm working on my first solo album and uh, I'm writing the songs right now. So uh, I was I was just working on this track. This is the eighth song, so I'm, I'm almost there with the writing process and then we can finally start with recording drums and everything. Um, I was working on this song, which is a special one for me. I don't know why. You know how it is. You write stuff and some of them are just okay. You kind of like it because you wrote it, but you're not so sure if it's that awesome. And then there are some ideas or songs that are just for some reason so well connected with you that you really, really want them to work. So that's kind of a, a strange and not very useful pressure inside that you don't want to mess it up, right? Um, it's in 6-8, so the beat is not the, the regular modern Western music standard, which would be 4-4, four, four, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 6-8, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is much closer to like a, a waltz kind of beat, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's not very typical. So um, that's again something that kind of uh, fired me up and made me want to make this song happen. So um, I started working on the arrangement that wor worked out really well. Then I started working on vocals because it was an instrumental little piece, didn't have any vocal melodies or lyrics, obviously nothing. And um, I Worked on the verse, that worked out really well, but then I got to the chorus and that was the point where I almost gave up. <laughs> I was so pissed and so lost because I just could not come up with a usable, proper chorus vocal melody. Uh, and that's only because of the chord progression in the chorus that I wrote back then. Uh, so. This is what I want to show. Um, let's uh, let's listen to the intro just a bit so that you get the vibe. Then I'll show a bit of the verse so that you know what kind of mood I'm aiming for. And then I'll show you the chorus chords right now uh, and, and show you why it's just it's just not happening. So I started working on the verse. Um, I have some recordings, no vocals yet, so it's gonna be gibberish. It's it's not actual words, okay? So yeah, you've been warned. I think I'm happy with the vocals in the verse. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be fine-tuned and when I have proper lyrics, that's gonna change probably a lot in terms of how the lines go and everything, but this basic is already something that I was aiming for. So I was like totally hyped and then I got to the chorus, which sounds like this. So it's a little odd, let's be honest. It's a, a really weird chord change or chord progression that really worked for the solo that I had on top of this. Um, there's a difference though when you write um, a chord progression for, for a solo where on an instrument you can get away with certain stuff and, and it sounds awesome even if it's a little odd. But for vocals, especially if it's sort of a, a poppy, like a little bit like a ballad, like that kind of song, that's just off. Here's the vocal melody that I came up with over these chords in the chorus. And um, it's, it's not going to be great. It's going to sound weird and sort of boring and, and not really catchy at all. 
It does not go anywhere. It's just, it's a slave melody. That's what I call a slave melody where you're forced to follow a weird chord progression. So whenever you're writing a part that should allow a soloist or a singer to, to get to a, like a, a highlight of a song, which is a chorus, for example, don't force certain chords um, on that part make it interesting of course but if you don't have a melody yet you're just writing backings basically like chords chord progressions um leave parts open be open-minded about it because this is where i realized i will have to change at least some of these chords ah. it's just way for That's already much more, uh, well, digestible. Let's put it this way. It's a one, five, two, six uh, progression, which means that you're using the first chord in that scale, uh, G, then the fifth, which is D, then the second, which is A, and then the uh, the sixth, which is E minor, and um, and that is uh, that is gonna be my my backing, my chord progression for the chorus, and this is the melody that made me want to use these chords. I will record it right now because uh, that's what felt right from the beginning, and that's why I was so devastated because the the old chords just did not allow me to go here. This is how everything's a let me be in your eyes Wait for a second so let me let you lie You can refine you You just so let me be You just wait for This chorus, even though it's still very rough, works so much more in an organic way with the, the verse. Um, I wanted to share this because I felt so bad about this song for quite a few days now. I was like, come on, it's impossible that I cannot come up with a usable uh, chorus melody. And I, I was like, why did I not think about just changing the chorus? If I'm really happy with the rest, let's work on that part it's it's not carved into stone it can it can change it's allowed <laughs> i was just not thinking about this uh, because i don't know why and uh, maybe it could help some of you to uh to be more flexible with your song ideas and if you're a uh, solo that sounds awesome uh, if, if your guitar player, the solo player says like, I cannot write a good solo over those chords or the singer says, I don't know, uh, I, I, I cannot make it work, then go ahead and, and rework those parts. I, um, I should have done that three or four days ago, but hey, um, at least now I got to that point, probably the storm. That, that's, that changed my mind, I don't know. Yeah, I'll keep on working on this song and uh, hopefully finish it and then start working on lyrics and then the final song, the ninth one, and then we can start recording uh, the drums. Obviously, that's gonna be the first thing. Well, actually not. Actually, the first thing is gonna be preparing the project to then send it to the drummer who will record it in his studio. We'll, I'll show a lot of that process. So if you're more into recording 
than writing music, that's probably going to be a video that's much more exciting for you. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about what happened today <laughs> in the comments below. Also, let me know if you figured out from which song, really famous song, these chords are from. Looking forward to that. All right, uh, meet you in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.